When it comes to learning for life, the Silicon Valley Future Stars have a program that is designed to inspire students to achieve their highest dreams. Molly Uzo is the executive director and Todd Obelar is a student participant. Welcome to you both. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. And I should say that Molly and I have worked together on several projects in the past, too, in the interest of full disclosure. Molly, I'm going to ask you if you would explain exactly how the Silicon Valley Future Stars help students prepare for college, which is really the track that you want them to focus on. Yeah, thank you very much, Janice. Uh, the students actually do not have enough help in school to prepare them for college. The counselors are too busy. So what we do is we take the students on one-on-one, -on -one, find out where their strengths are, their weaknesses, and we also start them very early to choose the right courses that will help them get to their dream focus. Uh, we find out what they want to be when they grow up, and we also find out where they are in school, making sure that the classes that they are taking are challenging enough if they need help, we help them after school so that they do their homework and definitely if they do their homework well, then they will be able to get the concepts and learn more. So when they are get, getting good grades, it helps them build their self-esteem and they keep going. We work with the teachers, their parents to make sure that we are all on the same track and make sure that they take their SAT. Some, some of them don't even know that they have to take SAT. Sometimes the schools tell them that they don't have to worry about SAT because they might be going to community college. But we tell them, take your SAT as early as possible, as many times as possible, and we give them the SAT prep. Yes, and so that SAT prep is so important. Yes. And Todd, as Molly was speaking, you were nodding your head. What grade are you in right now? I am in seventh grade. And how has the Silicon Valley Future Stars helped you with your work in school? Silicon Valley Future Stars has helped me become a leader and helped me become more honest and learn the true meaning of friendship because you meet a lot of people along the way. And when you say become more honest, that's an unusual one to hear as well. How, is it, how have they helped you in that regard? It helped me say what I need to say. It helped me influence people helped me realize that I am getting to that age where high school is going to come and that new people are going to come and that challenges face me but I know how to overcome those obstacles. That is a wonderful testimony. When you first started with the Silicon Valley Future Stars, what do you remember as standing out for you as being one of the first things that you learned? The first thing I learned in Silicon Valley Future Stars was how to dance, <laughs> African dancing, yes. But also along the way of the dancing, I also learned fencing. I also learned math enrichment, which really helped me because I wasn't really good at math. That is wonderful. And Malo, you're smiling as, as, as you hear this because while you run the program, when you hear the testimonies, the things that come out really strike you in that way. When you are designing this curriculum for students, what do you think is most important? You said for them to be prepped for the SATs, but why is dancing incorporated? Why fencing? Why do you keep those activities as well? Yes, uh, we find out that the kids go to where they have things that they like to do. So we look for those things that are exciting to them, uh, digital media production, video production. They like to play video games and we teach them how to design those video games. So we try to make them uh, more of producers as opposed to just consumers of the media. And you recently took a couple of students to Harvard for a special weekend as well. And that was one of the exciting events that you offered. Yes, actually. Uh, one of our students is at Harvard right now, and she invited the students to come over to perform for them during a cultural event that they have. And we decided to make it a dual event, a college visit, and of course you know that uh, Cambridge has a lot of schools around there. Yes. MIT, Boston College, UMass, we went to all of those. And we also taught Harvard so that the students can know that Harvard is not as intimidating and they dance with the students there, socialize with them and know that there is real life there. And then they come back to say, hey, 
I want to go to Harvard. <laughs> Which but, I'm partial to, I have to say. Right? Yes. <laughs> My alma so mater. <laughs> now we, they have to do what it takes to get to Harvard. Yes. Yes. That inspiration is so important. Todd, what would you say to other students who haven't participated in the program but would, would ask you why this is of value to you? It's of value to you because you really don't know how much it takes to get into college, how much work you have to put into it. People really don't know how much, it, how hard it is. Uh, you really have to take things seriously if you want to go to your college and make it far in life. Wow, that is so well said. Well, I want to thank you both for joining us. If you'd like to contact the Silicon Valley Future Stars, the information is on our screen also at bayareavista.com. Carmen, it's been great being here today. I'm excited. Look at these delicious dishes. Can't wait to dive in. I know. And this is all prepared by our students. Today, that was the lesson plan, was pastas. Wow, these pastas are delicious. And thank you so much for hosting us here at the Academy de Cuisine. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. And oh. again, you know, thank you to West Bay and Reverend Floyd because this is all a partnership with the West Bay Conference Center and the Academy de Cuisine. And that's one of the things that's so exciting because it's community coming together in support and vision exactly. and for people having more jobs as well as great skills and something delicious to consume, which we are going to do exactly. as the show closes. So I want to thank you for all that you do to make our Bay Area the great place that it is. Please join us again next time for information yes. about anything on today's show. Check out BayAreaVista.com. Thanks again. Yep.